Today, we're going to be doing some uh, testing uh, with a device that you can make on your own. Just uses um, a breadboard, ESP32, a whole bunch of wires, and um, <clears throat> your new best friend, uh, the NRF24 plus PA plus LNA. Um, it's a 2.4 gigahertz radio module. And um, the beauty of these is uh, it's pretty much a template. So you have the board, which has the um, NRF 24L01 chip, and then it has a uh, power amplifier and a no low noise amplifier already in here. Um, but you can take the antenna off and add your, either your own antenna, amplifiers, bandpass filters, a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, so just take this as like a um, bare bone radio, pretty much. Just like, you know, if you're into computers, you know, you might modify this or that. You might put in a new graphics card and they all have their own uh, specifications and use cases. Um, so this is pretty much a uh, signal generator for the uh, 2.4 gigahertz range. And um, <clears throat> previously, I had uh, this made through PCBWay. <clears throat> Highly recommend them. Uh, they do an amazing job. Um, I usually get mine done either in black or purple. Uh, this is Project Starbeam, which is uh, still in testing. But out of the kindness of my heart, I am putting out... Um, different iterations of Project Starbeam. Project Starbeam is just a combination of things, um, like a sandbox for signal generation. And uh, still working on some extra things. I'm, I really would like to add um, five gigahertz capabilities to this. Um, so uh, bear with me. Um, <clears throat> but the upgrade I made uh, from this one is I added a radio and uh, added display buttons and um, really worked with the code to, um, because with this, this is using just serial communication. And um, as soon as you plug it in, it turns on. So the code is pretty much uh, pretty simple. Um, but adding in the uh, UI and everything um, took a little bit, but we uh, got it done. So have a cool little screen. And now um, you have options on which uh, functions you want to do. So we have Bluetooth, drone, Wi-Fi, multi-channel. And multi-channel means that um, you can program uh, the radios to target different uh, channels. Um, so you can be a little bit more creative. Uh, so for uh, this test, we're going to test out the uh, Bluetooth and... Um, on the computer, we have SDR++. So you can see the uh, signal generation. And this is being done uh, with this uh, handy dandy HackRF. And this is a software-defined radio tool. And I'll post all the links of everything in the description. Um, but it allows you to go from up, it go, allows you to analyze signals, generate signals, receive signals up to 6,000 megahertz. So we'll be using this to uh, look at the 2.4 gigahertz frequencies. And I have it plugged into uh, my MacBook. So we'll hit uh, play. And now you can see that uh, it's scanning for signals. And we have this guy. So now you can see it's active. And uh, the wave waterfall waveform is generating. 
and then we could stop it. And now you see that the uh, waterfall is nice and clear and the signal generation has stopped. So I'll be going into uh, more tests later um, because like I said, um, these uh, radios are pretty stock. Um, they're pretty cheap, so you shouldn't really uh, expect too much, but stock, they still are very good. Um, but I have definitely a lot of different um, antennas <clears throat> and some amplifiers and bandpass filters um, and really just breaking down uh, RF theory, um, the foundations of it, and just how you can apply it to um, create more interesting results if that's what you're looking for. Um, but yeah, this code will be available on GitHub and you can find it uh, in the description. And um, yeah, let me know if you have any questions uh, setting this up, uh, installing it on um, Arduino. I'm going to be making more videos too on going through the code and also um, just some ways you could edit it to uh, add your own menu items and all that stuff. Um, so thank you.